Okay, hello everybody. Today we're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the TBM 930. We have a 157 nautical mile flight from Foxtrot Lima Lima, Fort Lauderdale to Echo Yankee Whiskey, Key West. Fort Lauderdale is a payware airport by Latin VFR and Key West is by Orbix. We're flying in the FedEx livery, one of my favorite liveries for the TBM. I'll put the link in the video details so that you too can enjoy it and we'll be flying IFR. So let's hop into the pilot seat and get started. All right, as we get everything started up here in the TBM, I will take you through the brief. So we are filing IFR, taking off from Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International. And as far as IFR flights go, it is very simple. So we've got two VORs, the Dolphin and Key West VOR, and connecting those VORs is the Victor 3 Airway. So essentially, we're going to fly the Victor 3 Airway to Key West. Recall when choosing your route, two simple rules are that the airway needs to be bolted, which means it's flyable, and you need to fly above the minimum on route altitude or the minimum obstacle clearance altitude. Um, an example here for the Victor 3 airway has 5,000 as the on route altitude, that guarantees us reception. 2,800 is the obstacle clearance, so that'll give us clearance, but not necessarily guarantee us reception. We'll be flying at 14,000 for this flight, so won't be a problem for us. If you look at our route, the intersection of the Dolphin and Key West VORs is where we will change direction on the Victor 3 airway. And to my dismay, it is called Drown. Uh, you can see that it's pretty far out over water, so hopefully there's not a history over why that was chosen for that name. We are expecting the RNAV approach for runway 27. That means we'll expect to get off of the Victor 3 airway at Guchel and head to our uh, initial fix from there, and we'll need to be at 1500 for that. Uh, and our final approach fix will intercept the glide slope at 1500 uh, and descend to runway 27. On two seconds, then off. Throttle. All right, let's dial in clearance, get ground on standby, and give them a call. Fort Lauderdale clearance, TBM, 359er Golf Charlie, IFR to Key West, ready to copy. On departure, fly runway heading, radar vectors, Quipro, Canes, Dolphin, then as filed. Climb and maintain 5,000. Expect 14,000, five minutes after departure. Departure 119.45, squawk 2414, TBM 359er Golf Charlie. Fort Lauderdale ground, TBM 359er Golf Charlie, FedEx ramp, ready to taxi with information Indian. Taxi and hold short, runway 10 left via Alpha Alpha 1, TBM 359er Golf Charlie. This airport was on sale this past weekend, I think for around $12 US, and I love everything by Latin VFR, uh, so I had to scoff it up. All the detail is just fantastic. We've got liveatc.net streaming live ATC in the background for this. Check out the mural here, uh, painted on the uh, end of the, uh, the wall for the runway. All right, let's go through our uh, run-up. Toggle over to tower, get our departure frequency dialed in. I'm also running with uh, live weather and live traffic uh, and multiplayer today, so I uh, should have a little bit of everything in the background. Fort Lauderdale Tower, TBM 359er Golf Charlie, holding short, runway 10 left. Cleared for departure, runway 10 left, TBM 359er Golf Charlie. The textures look great. Look at all the skid marks and the wear and tear on the runway. Awesome job. Uh, 
And I notice every time I look over my left shoulder here, I dip my right wing. I wonder if uh, that happens to actual pilots too, or if that's just a uh, simulated pilot thing. Yep, there we go again. Bring that back up. The detail looks great here. We've got cruise ships, uh, freight, all sorts of stuff along the coast. I'm not sure if that came with the airport, if that was already here, but it looks fantastic. All right, we've got our first turn coming up here. We'd be getting radar vectored to our first two fixes before uh, intercepting the Dolphin VOR. All right, we are on track. Let's sit back and enjoy that awesome flight simulator scenery. That was a lot of fun. This was a nice, easy IFR flight with a lot of eye candy along the way, especially if you pick up the two payware airports. The FedEx livery is terrific and it's free, so be sure to get that as well. I love flying with it and look for excuses to deliver my pretend cargo around the world. So if you enjoy content like this, be sure to click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, as always, for flying along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.